Hey, hello guys, how are you doing? I hope great. I'm DmitryJS91 here, and be welcome to my 100% walkthrough of Doom 2 Heaven Earth for the PC. Play through the Doomsday Engine Source port on the Ultra Violence difficulty. This video is a gameplay of map 13, that is called Downtown. Anyway, let's get to it. Okay, so here we start at the streets of downtown. Yes, this map is just like a small city. You see, it's very wide open and it has many, many uh, exploring stuff to do here. So before we start, let's go back to the starting area and grab those armor bonuses if you want the items completion, the 100% items. And then let's kill those Arachnid tunnels on this upper platform with rockets, where the Soul Sphere is. Use the left wall here as cover if you need. Have to kill three Arachnid tunnels at all. So now what I do is to run straight forward, pass through this big courtyard, turn right, and dispose of this Arachnid right away. And then, head straight forward once again and turn right and head for this invulnerability. And then go back to the main courtyard, grab the invisibility and get rid of all of these revenants on this platform. Have to do this pretty quick because we also need to kill those two arachnatrons that came for you. And also those two cacodemons. Two or three, I think. Okay, one of them is in fighting with the imps on that upper platform. And also we'll kill those imps as well, along with the Kaka Demon. Yeah, this map is very wide open, you have to be very careful while to traverse here. So my goal is, or my goal, or what I recommend you to do is to clear out any enemy that you can see on cages, walls, Mainly the imps and cacodemons. There's also a cacodemon, a cacodemon, an imp here on this silver wall. And then what I do is to circle around the buildings and kill every imp that I see. So for this I'll use my shotgun to save my bullets. And also I'll explore this very wide open area and grab all the items that I can see. And then I start to explore the map. I don't take any teleporter, go through any door, just go on this outside area and get everything that I can. Circling around all the buildings and killing every imp that I can see through the wall or through a cage. That's what I like to do here. And I'm using the free look to see the enemies that are very, very high up. But also you can do this on Z Dune. I tested. it. So it can also clear out the enemies that are very, very high. We have more imps here. And also a caca demon, so let's kill him right away. We have an imp that is very high up, so just back off if you're using a Z Dune basic source port and kill that guy with the chain gun. Okay, so we still have some more imps to kill. Uh, those three imps here on the cages. On this building. Also here we can grab the plasma gun but be careful just work quick here because we have a crushing ceiling to deal with and that's never good to stay underneath a crushing ceiling. Also I grab those invisibility since I'll not come back here. And also here you see where those shells are if you open the wall on this building that is behind the shells, you can have this secret area with a mega armor inside, but I'll save this mega armor for later, since I still have some good armor to use and spare. Alright, so apparently everything is clear, so let me make sure that I grab all the items that I can around the buildings, the health bonuses, the armor bonuses. I think that's okay, I think I did not miss anything. Alright. 
Oh, and hello, Mr. Kaka Demon. Yeah, I have to hunt down some enemies because they can be spread around here, especially the Kaka Demons. Okay, from the starting area, let's turn left and then go all the way to the left side and open this door. This is a very easy to miss area with some imps inside, so if you want all the kills, you have to kill those imps. I'll take those shells since I'll not come back here. And then from here, you see this red building. Let's explore it. And as you can see, there's a arrow, an arrow here on the floor, so just follow it. And then we can grab this berserk pack, but be ready because when you do that, a trap will open with some lost souls. Loads of them, so I use my super shotgun to kill them and do what Big Mac Davis call it, a peekaboo shoot. Just find them all and kill them. Okay, so let's go up these stairs and open the door. And from here you can kill some imps with the chain gun down below before you drop down. I recommend you do this, just not be overwhelmed by the imps. Okay, and since I have the berserk pack, so I use my berserk fist down here to kill some imps on oh, this little, not a maze actually, just a warehouse of crates. And also make sure to grab all the items, including the ammo, the weapons, and kill every enemy around, including imps and demons. Just a few more enemies to kill. This demon. There's a hole here, but don't drop down yet. And we have another imp right here. Alright. Do you see this switch? Actually, you can flip it to open a secret area. And on the left of this switch, there is this crate that you can lower, revealing another switch. So flip it. And flip the switch, we raise stairs to this teleporter. Yep. But let me make sure that I kill all the enemies and grab all the items around. Okay, I think that's the case. So let's go up these stairs and take the teleporter. And what I have to do here is just run straight forward. To jump at this platform with the soul sphere and where we kill those arachnatrons. Yep. Alright, so let's drop down and go back to the red building through these stairs. And now let's drop down on this hole. And I have I like to have my chainsaw ready just to chainsaw this poor tomato to death. And he's dead. So let's lower this lift. And be ready here because the imps are a little too present at the top, so have your chain gun ready to kill them right away and to avoid to be scratched by the imps. Okay, so we have some holes to drop down. Don't drop down on this hole because it will take you to a familiar area. Also, we have this teleporter. On the right of this teleporter, we have this face here. You can open this wall for a secret with some shells inside. The hole that you want to drop down is this one on the left of the teleporter. And down here we have a demon to kill. Where is he? Oh great, he teleported to somewhere. So I have to hunt them down. So let's kill this Mancubus first. Usually that demon does not teleport, but if he does, well, we have to hunt them down. Here on the starting area. Where is he? There you are. You want to ruin my day, isn't it? Anyway, let's go back to through the red building. Yeah, that sometimes can happen. That's very annoying if it, it happens, but... Oh well. Let's take this lift once again. And then drop down this hole. 
Alright, so we are back here. So we grab the blue key. Let's go up these stairs. And don't take this teleporter just yet. Instead, go outside. Let's follow this platform to a backpack. And now we can take the teleporter. But be ready, because this next part is kind of dangerous. So I have my plasma gun ready. And just teleport. Squeeze my way through this caca demon. And kill him right away. Yes, you teleport in a place surrounded by cacos on both sides, so be ready for that. Now, so I'll open this wall here at the center to kill another caca demon. Yeah, this place is dangerous, so the plasma gun is the best gun to use here, in my opinion. Alright, so let's drop down. And then you see this building, circle around it until you find some stairs. Right here, and go up the stairs. And here we'll find a blue door, so open it, since we have the blue key. Yep, this is a secret area with some ammo. And from here, do you see those stairs down below? Run to it. I like to have my chainsaw ready once again, to chainsaw this poor tomato to death. Yep, one more time. And then, I would like to circle around to grab the rockets, but don't go to the platform where the rocket launcher is. And to this next part, I have to. I like to have my Berserk Fist ready. Just run through the rocket launcher face of the stairs. Because it will release a trap with loads of demons. So we have our Berserk Fist ready to not be cornered by them. Yeah, like <laughs> it happened right there. They can bite your ass, so be careful. Also, we can use the chainsaw if you want, but ber the Berserk Fist is better in my opinion. Alright, we are finally clear with this part, so now what we have to do... Let me remember right, because this map is so wide open... Yes, to go through these teleporters, right here. So let's take them. And follow this very high up ledge. And to the very end, and carefully drop down on this platform to grab a BFG. Yes, I'm using the free look to do that carefully. And then drop down once again to kill another Kaka demon. And he's dead. So let's get out. And then retake those teleporter once again. Right here. But this time, turn around and can you see a platform below? Even on Zidon you can do that, just run straight forward. And we'll drop down on that platform where those revenants were. And there we have another blue door, so let's open, run for the invulnerability, and kill the five lost souls, I believe, inside here. Very quick. And then flip down the switch down below to take this chainsaw and tag a secret area, and then take the teleporter. Have to do all of this thing, all of this stuff, very fast, and I drop down. Great. Because we have some imps very nearby to you, so the invulnerability will help with those imps. Oh great, so I have to do that once again, since I drop it off. Run to the Revenant platform. Blue door. Teleporter. To this imp, and take the red key that is up here. That's your goal. Okay. And I really like how this area is designed, with some kind of layers. Yep. So now we have to find this silver lift, right here. Oh, and we have some imps to kill on those cages, so let's do so. Alright, so we have two doors. The door on the right is locked, so the only door you can go through is the left one. And here I like to use rockets to kill those imps. You can also use the BFG if you want, it's up to you. And then don't fall down here because there's a teleporter down below, actually, and it will take to a familiar area, so what you have to do is to run straight forward to the other ledge. And that's a secret area with a chain gun and a computer area map. And now you can open this door. Yep. So let's drop down. And from here, let's turn left, and near the starting area, there's the red door, so let's open it. 
And then this part is I think at the most tedious and some kind of annoying part but not so hard. So let's approach this lift. Yet yeah, it's a lift. You have to stay near to it and it will start to lower. And it's very slow, very slow. And also it reveals some imps on the platform. So if you're playing on a Z-Dune based source port, this place is very hard to see high up. And I also try to use here my free look a little bit to kill those imps that are kind of near to me. Alright, so let's lower this lift all the way. Take the Berserk pack. And with the rocket launcher in hand, kill those imps. Yeah, that's the best way to do this in uh, Zidu based source ports. So let's drop down to the left side first. And drop down very carefully to grab all the goodies around. And also we'll take this lift once again. Yeah, a tedious work, but oh well. Because now we can grab the yellow key on the other side. So let's jump down, grab the yellow key, and once again you can drop down to grab some goodies, some shells. Some rockets and some energy cells. Yep. Alright, I think I'm done here. So let's grab that mega armor that we saved. It. That is near to this platform where the red, red key was. Behind it, actually. Right here. And then let's find the red, the yellow door. So to find the yellow door, it's very simple. From the starting area, turn left. Go to this black building and turn right and you find the yellow door right here on this building so let's open it and grab the berserk pack only for health and let's see I hope that's everything yep we kill it everything we take it all the secrets and we grab it all the items collect it all the items so yeah finally we are done with this very wide open map Alright folks, so this, we, this was downtown. Well, what can I say about this map? Well, this map is very huge as you already s saw. But I like the overall idea of this map. A small city in a very wide open map. I like this idea. This map has many ways to be played and many exploring possibilities to do here. But the best route to do this map, I think, is the route that I did here. First I clear out all the enemies that I can see and then start to explore the map. That's what I like to do here. But if you know where, where you're going and, and what you are doing here, this map isn't so hard. The only tedious part was that part with the yellow key that so is low lift with loads of imps. In a Z-Dune based source port that place is very hard. Even here at Doomsday that place is very hard, very hard because you can see the enemies there that are so high because of the limited z-axis of Dune. But in overall, I like this map. It's a very enjoyable map. There's many ways to play through it and I like the overall uh, wide open and small city design of this map. It's very cool in my opinion. Also the soundtrack is very cool as well, very calm. So yeah, anyway, we are done with downtown. So now we are moving to map 14. That is called the Inmost Dance. This map is a very, well, you see. Anyway, until map 14, the Inmost Dance, I'm Jimmy DGS91, and bye bye to everyone. Take care, my friends.